What's up everybody, it's Andrew, and in this video I'm going over the Halo Infinite Series 12 by Mega Constructs. Let's just get right into it. First up, it's the Imperial Grunt. We have Tan for the Flesh Tones, Orange for the Armor, and then Dark Gray for the Armor Detail. Next up, it's the Elite Mercenary. This one is Black on the Undersuit, Metallic, Purple for the Armor, and then Gray for the Flesh Tones. Moving on, we have our Halo Infinite Marine. This one is olive green for the main color, brown for the armor color, and dark brown for the armor detail. Next, another common figure from this series, it's the Spartan Mark VII. We have black for the undersuit, metallic blue for the armor, and then black again for the armor detail. All right, and the last common figure in this series is the Master Chief in the active camo parts effect, and this one is Crystal clear for all parts. All right, moving over to the rare figures in this series. We have the Spartan Gunganeer. We have black for the undersuit, yellow for the armor, and then off-white for the armor detail. The second rare of this series is the UNSC Brohammer. This one is translucent blue for all parts. All right, and the last thing in this series isn't a figure at all. It's the Micro Fleet UNSC Pelican Dropship. It's the ultra rare, and it is metallic green for the main color with black and silver for the details. All right, now that we're done with that part, I can kind of go over with you a bit more in detail of what's included with all of these figures in this series. All right, first up is our Grunt Imperial. This one comes with two plasma grenades in the suicide pose here. This one has a little buildup on the back of the armor canister. Round one by one, smooth studs there. No complaints on this one. This is just a great little army builder. All right, the Marine is the next one I want to talk about. This one comes with the newest style assault rifle with that detachable ammo counter. We have a removable helmet here, of course. This one does lack the details from the Halo Heroes line, but this is a blind bag figure, so that is to be expected. No complaints on this one, another great little figure. Another common from this series, it's the Spartan Mark VII in that metallic blue. I really like that color. That looks really good. This one comes with a silver brute shot. Just a great figure, nothing wrong. It all turned out well on that one. One of the rares from the series, this is the Brill Hammer. This one comes with the new style Halo Infinite Pistol. Got some mixed feelings about that, but that's an argument for another day. Anyway, this one is translucent blue, and the only real issue I have with it is there's some extra buildup of material around the left side of the visor on the helmet. You can see it right there. Uh, that's something that I could probably fix, but it's a defect nonetheless and something you should be aware of. Anyway, aside from that small little defect, the rest of the figure turned out really well. It's even got these little rubbery uh, straps here down on the waist. A great figure to have and add to my collection. All right, the second rare from the series is the Gunganeer Spartan. And just look at how great that helmet turned out. The Halo Reach style Gunganeer helmet. I really like that. This one comes with the Covenant Carbine in dark purple. And the armor is over the female torso. The only real issue I have with this figure is that the shoulder armor is extremely loose. You can see it just moves real easy. And while that's not a huge deal, I do think it's worth mentioning. All right, back over to one of the commons from this series. It's the Active Camo Master Chief. This one comes with the battle rifle in the Active Camo effect. No real complaints on this one. This one turned out really well. All the parts fit together really good, and they are secure. Okay, moving on, the next one is the Elite Mercenary, probably one of my favorites from this series. This one comes with the new style energy sword, and they seem to be back and forth on the old and the new molds for that. I'm not sure what that means. This one comes with a removable helmet, and that metallic purple just really looks great on this figure. All of the parts on this one were molded well and fit, fit good. Uh, this is just a great figure and uh, probably one of the standouts from the series. All right, and the final thing I want to talk about, it's the Micro Fleet Pelican Dropship, and this one is a super fun build. I really like this one. The only real issue with this is there is a lack of clutch power 
for the stand for it to hold on there. It's just a little bit too loose. That's not a huge deal. Uh, in fact, I may even have a extra part that may fit on there and make that a little bit more uh, secure. But overall, this is a really great build. It's interesting. It has a lot of uh, unique parts in it. And the wings and the engine all articulate on an axis there. Just a fun little build to put together. So this isn't the strongest series that Megas come out with. There's nothing here that's super rare or super collectible. And there are some issues with quality control with some parts and pieces. But overall, I think it's still a decent little series. There are a few standouts here. And there is a ton of potential for customs and army building. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you for now. I'm Andrew. Till next time.